This is a discussion on the deformation of the crust presented to you by the USD College of Science Glee Club. Let's start with a situation. It's a normal day and you're driving your car down the street when suddenly there's an earthquake. The ground shakes then it begins to shift upwards. This sudden change in the ground is called a deformation. Deformations are caused by the shifting of tectonic plates located in the Earth's crust. They produce a variety of geologic structures such as folds, faults, foliations, and joints. Now let's explain the forces of deformations, stress and strain. Stress is defined as the force applied over an area. In uniform stress, equal forces are applied from all directions, while the application of unequal forces causes differential stress, which has three types. The first type of differential stress is tensional force, which is a stress that pulls objects apart, giving them a larger surface area. This is also called stretching force. The next type is compressional force, also called contracting force. This is when objects are pushed together, which results in decreased surface area or volume. Lastly, shear force is a stress within an object that causes a side-to-side -side movement within an internal fabric or weakness. Strain refers to the changes in the material due to stress. The change may occur in the size, shape, or volume. As the rocks and tectonic plates are subjected to stress, they successively go through the stages of deformation. The first stage, elastic deformation, is reversible. After a stress is released, it returns to its original form. The second stage is ductile deformation. This occurs when enough stress is applied to a material that the changes in its shape are permanent. The last stage is fracture or yield point. When the irreversible strain is evident via a break in the material. There are many factors that may affect how much an object will be deformed. This includes temperature, confining pressure, strain rate, and the composition of the ground. Now, let's look at two products of deformation, faults and folds. A fault is a fracture in bedrock along which rocks on one side have moved relative to the other side. These are caused by shear force. A fold is a permanent wave-like deformation in layered rock or sediment formed from a compressional force. That's it for this video. We're hoping that you learned something today. Until next time, bye!